So hello brothers and sisters, I am Krishna Akar. So in this video, let us increase the performance of this computer. We are not overclocking, we are cleaning our PC. So if you are seeing here, yes, this computer is 1.5 years old. So from the past 1.5 years, I didn't clean the PC. I mean, I didn't clean this computer. So it's running very hot and also, you know about the performance, it will be slow. Because if the CPU runs hot, the performance um, because if the CPU runs hot, the performance automatically drops. So today we'll deep clean this CPU. You can also subscribe to our channel because it gives more motivation to make more videos, guys. So, so the CPU cooler came with a thermal paste, like built-in thermal paste in it. We'll apply this thermal paste. I'll show you. Yes, this one. So we'll apply this thermal paste to this CPU and we'll check the performance, temperature and also we'll do some benchmarking things. This is from the brand Cooler Master. So you know about the brand? It's a well-known brand. So yeah, let's start the video. Before we begin, let's prepare our workspace and gather the necessary tools. You'll need a thermal paste, alcohol swaps or isopropyl alcohol with cotton buds, a Phillips head screwdriver and a small brush. First, make sure your PC is completely turned off and unplugged. Safety first, guys. Let's open up the case. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws on the side panel. Carefully set the panel aside. We are going to dust off each component. Use a small brush to gently remove the dust. Make sure to clean the motherboard, graphics card, power supply and case fan. You can also use an air blower for hard to reach places. Here's a time lapse of me cleaning the component. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow spitting fast So I got this thermal paste for 250 rupees during a sale And I'll put that product link in the description To remove the old thermal paste, we are using alcohol swabs. You can buy this at any medical store for around 2 rupees. You can also use isopropyl alcohol with cotton buds, but I prefer these swabs. Gently wipe the swab on the CPU until there is no mark or residue of the old thermal paste left. Now let's apply the new thermal paste. You can choose any pattern, but I prefer the simple P size dot in the center. Some people use an X pattern but I don't recommend it. The P size dot will spread evenly. Carefully place the cooler back onto the CPU. Align it correctly and press it gently. Tighten the screws diagonally to ensure an even mount and secure fit. Tada! You have successfully changed the thermal paste and cleaned your PC components. Your system should now run cooler. I'm back after some days. So this is the computer which we cleaned before. So I'm using this computer from the past couple of days and I'm able to see lot of lot of improvements in the temperature and also in the performance. So I'll decode everything right now. First thing is the idle temperature. So the idle temperature of the CPU before reapplying the thermal paste was around 45 to 50 degrees Celsius. Yes guys, the idle temperature. And now after reapplying the thermal paste, it's only around 37 to 40 degrees Celsius guys, which is 10 degrees drop in the temperature. It's a very good thing in terms of numbers. And now the second thing is stress test. Before reapplying the thermal paste, I stress tested the computer and the maximum temperature was around 95 degrees Celsius. Yes, I ran it for 30 minutes and it went to 
నైంటీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ సెల్సియస్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ రీఅప్లైంగ్ ద థర్మల్ పేస్ట్ ఐ అగైన్ ర్యాన్ స్ట్రెస్ టెస్ట్ ఆన్ ద కంప్యూటర్ అండ్ ద మ్యాక్సిమం టెంపరేచర్ ఈస్ అరౌండ్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ డిగ్రీస్ సెల్సియస్ సో జస్ట్ సి వేర్ ఇస్ సెవెంటీ ఎయిట్ డిగ్రీస్ సెల్సియస్ అండ్ వేర్ ఇస్ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ డిగ్రీస్ సెల్సియస్ yes there's a huge temperature drop of around 17 degree celsius guys which is insane 17 degree celsius is like very you know huge in terms of numbers so the last thing is gaming so i always play valorant in 1080p ultra or high settings so i'll get around 100 to 120 fps after playing 2 to 3 matches the cpu temperature was going to 95 degree celsius guys like 95 degree celsius i was frustrated by seeing the number so what i was doing was like uh, opening the side panel of the cabinet and uh, then playing games because you know i wanted the air to let in so i was you know doing all this stuff in order to maintain the temperature 95 degree celsius is the maximum temperature maximum tdp of the cpu and it is reaching its maximum temperature which generally reduces the lifespan so if you know you know first thing is periodically maintain your computer guys now i am talking specifically about the desktop computer or the gaming computer like this not the laptops laptop users i'll give you the suggestion after a minute now let's talk about desktop users so periodically clean your computer guys so once in six months or even in a year periodically clean it guys like properly wash all the fans what i mean not wash properly you know clean dust off all the components uh, fans cpu motherboard ram etc like all the components focus on the fans because uh, these fans uh, will keep the components cooler so focus on that thing especially so i recommend you to change the thermal paste of the cpu every year guys so use it for a year and then change it uh, accordingly so just check the average temperature and then if you feel that your computer is running slow or your computer's temperature is rising up then it's the time to change the thermal paste so definitely go for a good thermal paste brand and also the thing is you will get cheap thermal paste for around 60 to 100 rupees in the local market or even in amazon flipkart but i won't recommend it guys like you know the cpu temperature depends on the thermal paste so if your thermal paste is good enough then it will definitely reduce the temperature and also increases the cpu's lifespan buy a good thermal paste and then apply it to your computer so that's all about it guys and meet in the next video till then bye